So I'm going to run through how to service a XO2 hygiene bin. And this particular bin here is our touch-free version. Hello. And we also have the manual version as well, but the servicing for, um, for both bins is exactly the same. So you're probably wondering whether this is something that you can do yourself in-house or whether it needs to be done by a, uh, by a waste management company. And uh, in Australia here, the answer is you can do it in-house and it's um, classified as your normal waste. So um, look, the main thing is, is that these things do get serviced on a regular basis. And so whether you can do that yourself or whether you outsource that to others and go into a contract, it's entirely up to you. Um, so it's, as you'll see, it's, it's very, very easy and very, very quick to do yourself. So when you're ready to service, just go to the back of the bin, pull the door down, and pull the insert out. You'll grab the bag, you can tie a knot, and then put it into a, a, another bag, which could be inside a, uh, a plastic bin. Uh, then we'll grab a uh, replacement bin liner these are uh, opaque plastic so that you know you can see if there's anything that has made its way through the bag like a, uh, a sharp or anything like that. Um, and uh, also these bags have got a, uh, a fragrance built into them so they smell really nice. Just put it in like a normal bin liner. Then grab one of these uh, sachets here. These are a treatment sachet, so they're, de they're dealing with any bacteria and, and uh, odors associated with these bins. And so you just tear the sachet, sprinkle it in. You can chuck that in there too. And man, this smells good. And then uh, you can put it back into the bin. Close the door. And then one extra step that we do recommend um, because of the nature of, of, these, uh, of the environment that these are in, we do have our XO2 sanitary hygiene, hygiene bin wipes and they're uh, impregnated with a, a, a really special chemical that um, cleans and sanitizes the bin. So it's just good to give it a little bit of a wipe here over the sensor and around the lid, particularly on the manual version. Um, these ones, because they're touch free, um, don't really get touched anyways, but it is a good practice to give it a little bit of a wipe and then you're done.